welcome to my channel. I am a freshman here at the University of Mary Hardin Baylor located in Belton, Texas. And today is homecoming. <laughs> um, super excited. My first homecoming here at UMHB. Also the first football game I am going to be attending. Super happy. But that's later on in the day. Today, we are being big girls and we are doing schoolwork. So I have my backpack, I have my car keys, and I'm gonna go to the coffee shop, coffee shop, coffee shop, and do some homework. And I'm meeting a friend, or I'm driving a friend, so I'm gonna meet up with her, gonna get some coffee. Going, we're probably gonna go to a bookstore, may or may not, we'll see. But I just wanna take the audience on my journey of homecoming games slash being a student um, and homework. So yay, um, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm psyched. I got all the way to the car with my friend and I forgot I didn't pack snacks. Those are essential. I don't have that many snacks, that's the thing. Granola bar. Hmm. Is that it? Is that all we have? I have a lot of peanut butter crackers. Like, a lot. Pack those. Okay, that's kind of sad. I need to go grocery shopping. Honestly, might go today. Yeah, I have snacks. I don't have that many, which makes me really sad. There's some over here. No, I just really don't have snacks. Okay. Well, now, now I'm going to the car. I promise. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Today I'm here with the famous Jordan Nicole Young. Um, she is a student at UMHB. She's a freshman psychology major. Jordan, where are we today? We're at Arusha, or aka Arusha. And what did you order from Are You Sure? I ordered a maple nut latte iced. And did you get anything to eat? I got a banana muffin. Warmed up or cold? Warmed up. <laughs> That's how we like to see it. Spice and hazelnut mixed together. And maple syrup. Let me try. Did you give it in or two? This is the angle we're getting. Yeah. Mmm. The muffin's legit. This is good. It's like, I agree. It's like pumpkin spice mixed with hazelnut mixed with like caramel almost. It's a maple nut latte and then we got banana nut latte. see if they have Pride and Prejudice, and I, I, I want to look at the Christian books. I want to see if they have like books you can write in, like fill in, like workbooks kind of. I feel like they would. Um, and we can color after this, after we do our work. Oh yeah. I have a, um, a four page essay due in a week. Yes, We're both writing essays right now. <laughs> she said yes. A day book. Did she say yes to Christ? 
the better half. To follow guide of the exciting adventure of joyfully oh. living Christians. He knocked out the light. Are we talking about God? What are we talking about? Life is hard, but God is good. Period. I've been here for like a minute now. <laughs> I thought you were on your phone. Your name everywhere. This is the fourth time I've seen my name spelled like that today. Coincidence? I think not. So we went to McWaz, McWaz, McWaz bookstore in Felton, and we both picked out a book, but I got Living Among Lions. How to Thrive Like Daniel in Today's Babylonian by David and Jason Benham. When their cultural pressure to conform increases, followers of Jesus must remain steadfast. Our calling is to live with the same conviction, commitment, and courage that empower the prophet, apostle, and saints of old. Gateways through which God transformed the world. Um, I got a book called Little B. Um, the back says, we don't want to tell you what happens in this book. It is truly a simple story and we don't want to spoil it. Nevertheless, you need to know enough to buy it. So we'll just say this. This is a story of two women. Their lives collide one fateful day, fateful day, and one of them has to make a terrible choice. The kind of choice we hope you never have to face. Two years later, they meet again. The story starts there. Once you have read it, you'll want to tell your friends about it. When you do, please don't tell them what happened. Some magic is in how the story unfolds. It just seemed intriguing and it seemed like a pretty easy read. So, I'm excited. <laughs> and then we went to the Dollar Tree to buy some groceries. I got some whales, a classic, stacks, like Lay's Pringles basically, cheddar flavor, pop ramen, beef, <laughs> beef. <laughs> I smell like beef. I smell like beef. <laughs> I smell like beef. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your your viewers get the reference because if not, that's really weird. <laughs> it smells like beef. Put a link to the video in your in your caption. And I got some cinnamon applesauce, all for four dollars. I have been a Sonic fanatic lately, so I decided to get these cherry limeades. Next thing, I got some good old animal crackers. Pringle, not Pringles. Got soup. Soup. Soup for meal. Soup. I'm back in my dorm. I, mean, I think we're gonna clean up. I have some dishes to do. But right now, I'm hungry. I'm craving ramen. So, I'm gonna make some more ramen. Um, I'm excited for this ramen. Very much so. It's been a fun day. I'm really tired though, and I wish I got a little bit more work done than I did get. Done. But I need to do some homework for my fine arts class. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, oh my! Can we want to feed the baby? Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to tickle. <laughs> He's totally just chilling. Look at how close. He's so cute. <laughs>
How's the waffle? <laughs> it's very good. I got Nutella, and then instead of doing just strawberry syrup, I did strawberry and blueberry, and it's very good. Mm. I got Nutella syrup and strawberry mm. syrup and butter and coffee. I got coffee. I did tall macchiato creamer with a little bit of hazelnut syrup. I did cinnamon dolce coffee with vanilla syrup. So good. 10 out of 10. We just we went to Waffles and Word as you saw, and then we went to the main service. Big Wait, church. Did I go straight? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I know you don't know. Um, <laughs> I have no. So in Waffles and Word, we talked we talked about the Psalms, Psalms one thirty nine. Got my notes. Okay, so we talked about like I said, Psalms one thirty nine. Some key notes that I wrote down. God has created us uniquely for the purpose he has given us in the days that he has made for us. We are not our own, but we belong to the Lord. He is who we are. He is our identity. I liked how he said something, Shannon, the college pastor. He asked the question, is Jesus worth the pursuit? And I just, I don't know, I feel like that's a really good question because it's especially like now, nowadays in the world, like being a Christian is, is hard stuff. For a lot of Christians, Jesus isn't isn't worth the pursuit which is like tough but um to me my answer was yes he's worth the pursuit also sorry for the bumps this road's super bumpy it's like a roller coaster it really is and then in big church we talked about mark 15 which <laughs> which is the crucifixion of jesus christ it was really good he said something he said so jesus not only died in our place but he was also mo mocked in our place and i really like that because like i said being a christian in this world is super difficult and like when we share the gospel we go. uh, we're Come often on. there's a big bump Whee! Okay. Whee! <laughs> we're often mocked and but we forget that like jesus was mocked too and so he just was mocked in our place so i i really liked it for sure yeah period it's always a good reminder to hear like the crucifixion like hear it again because i don't know we can easily just like put it to the side. So it's nice to be like reminded of like, oh wow, like that, that happened. Like that, that happened. Yeah. Up close and personal. Mm. I got the Gulf Coast roll from H-E-B. I got the spicy California roll. All its glory. Review of this weekend. Lori, go. Oh, it was fun. It was a really good end to a long, 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 long week. I've been looking forward to this weekend since last weekend. <laughs> One of the best weekends we've had here at UMHB. For sure. Agreed. So this is going to be the end of the weekend vlog. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching it. It's been super fun. Bring in the audience along um, on our adventures. It's been fun to vlog. I like yeah. it. Yeah, Jordan's my vlog accountability partner. <laughs> Cheers to a great rest of the semester. Know. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>